Of course. Well, guys, there's a new call for diversity, equity, and inclusion, and today it's in video games. Let's talk about it. Yeah, the problem with the Before we get into this new video out of Dove and Epic Games, please like and subscribe. I want as many people to find this channel as possible so you know what to do. So Dove has partnered with Epic Games Unreal Engine to work on the problem of overly sexualized women in video games. Here's their newest video, let's watch. Of course. All right, so underneath all the body armor was actually an overweight woman. So that clearly points out a lack of representation within video games. Interesting, okay. Seventy four percent of girls feel underrepresented in video games, which is like another one of those. What? Ninety nine percent of statistics you hear on the Internet are made up. It's a fairy dust. Or Dove just put out some random survey to their already extremely left leaning audience. And seventy four percent of women responded and said they feel underrepresented. Let's see how this ad ends. OK, they're partnering to change this problem. Let's make virtual beauty real, guys. And she goes back out onto the battlefield looking like her normal self without all the armor because you can no longer fantasize in video games anymore. Everything has to be a clear depiction of who you are. Everybody's story deserves to be told because we're all deserving of representation and even the most unrealistic of uh, virtual realities. It's so interesting that you'll see this. And I think, don't men have the same issue if we're even gonna call it that in video games? Aren't the men like super strong, buff, and maybe unrealistic depictions of what normal normal men look like. It's not a man purse, it's called a satchel. Indiana Jones wears one. Do you hear men complaining about unrealistic beauty standards in video games? No, you don't. It's only ever from sensitive women, in my opinion. It says Dove wants to eliminate beauty stereotypes and build the next generation of young players' self-esteem and body confidence. They go on down here to say, quote, although the game's industry has made significant strides to become more inclusive, progress needs to be accelerated to challenge the narrow definitions of beauty still visible in the virtual world. Together with partners we hope to make a real impact on the millions of women and girls who spend their free time playing games right because that's what we need to incentivize we need to make the video game world more realistic so that more women want to sit at home and play video games because that's what's good for the world dove is responsible in large part for a lot of the marketing that happened surrounding the whole crown act which was another movement for diversity equity and inclusion and they made the claim that black women were essentially being discriminated against and fired from their jobs jobs for having braids and dreads and afros, which in my opinion does not seem to be anywhere near as big of a problem as they made it. But nonetheless, they worked on developing a campaign uh, on Dove's behalf and on behalf of black women to pass this Crown Act. And it did end up becoming a thing because we don't do anything virtuous if not for the left-leaning corporations that force it down our throats and market it to us to get this job done. You have to think about what the incentives are for Dove to back campaigns like this. And on the subject of video games, for the most part, we accept that video games are a virtual fantasy. And why go onto a video game and play a character that's a direct depiction of who you are as a person? What's the point of the video game at this point? In my second life, I was also a paper salesman, and I was also named White. Absolutely, everything was the same. And this is not a particularly sensitive community. Have you guys ever been in a video game lobby? So that your mom won't love you anymore if she sees how bad you're losing in the game. Shut up! 
that if this comes to fruition as some sort of video game that they put out and market to the world, it's going to be almost exclusively women who play it because men do not like being pandered to. They don't like PC video games. They like to be themselves and engage in a fantasy. And maybe, yes, an ideal and maybe sometimes unrealistic beauty standard is presented to them. But isn't that kind of the point of playing video games? Getting to be something that you're not? Not everybody's story needs to be told all the time. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. That might be insensitive. But we live in a world where stories are told when they are remarkable, when they achieve something that others don't. If we just go around representing everyone and everything all the time, what's the point of even having a virtual reality? It's not even something to play with. It's just a direct depiction of your life. This is somewhat new for video games. It's not exactly new. We have Activision Blizzard, a massive video game company that says, you know, diversity, equity, and inclusion, a culture of inclusion and belonging within video games. And of course, what do you see right here? What do those stickers say? Women at Blizzard. I think by and large, if you look behind any of these movements, you will find that women are at the front and center. And it makes sense. It's just who we are as people. We are more nurturing and caring and compassionate and far more sensitive and trigger centric than our male counterparts. So of course, if there's going to be a movement for cultural inclusion and belonging and body diversity and all these different things, women will be behind it. And not only do these movements keep popping up, they're never asked for. If you go to the original tweet that the drum put out about this Dove campaign with Epic Games, you'll find that it is ratioed to hell because people are looking at this and going, who asked for this? If you read some of the top comments on this, here's one. Feminist, quote, that skimpy body armor is unrealistic and impractical, end quote. Also feminist, quote, it's okay for a disabled woman to be portrayed as a soldier in World War II. Games don't have to be realistic, end quote. And that's a very fair point to be made here. A lot of this ad hinges on this idea that the standards that are represented in these virtual realities and these games are unrealistic for women and for anybody who's sensitive to seeing body types that are not their own. We don't care about being realistic when we're swapping out races for diversity or retelling history to fit our own woke ideology in these video games and in all this different stuff that we're consuming these days. Suddenly, we only care about being realistic when it comes to body standards. There's even girl gamers who are speaking out in the comments saying we did not ask for this. Here's one from Mary Mayhem saying, absolutely not. Actual female gamers never ask for this. Stop asking ideologues what they want and pretending like you ask female gamers. Here's another one that says, because physically fit people don't exist, right? You know what would have worked? Putting fat characters in video games and not pointing it out for virtue signaling points. This is what happens when you have forced diversity, equity, and inclusion. It feels, you guessed it, forced. You know, you can sprinkle in characters that make you feel like you're being inclusive and representing other people without making a massive campaign pain to pat yourself on the back for doing it. And how does this feel to overweight people that they feel like they have to be pitied in ad campaigns made by Dove and Epic Games for just a piece of inclusion within a video game? Good question. Don't you feel so good that we've put an obese character in our video games now? Please thank us. Please play our games. Please spend your money here now. It really goes to show that you pity them. And on the point of realism, do you think it's realistic to see an obese character doing some of the physical activities that are represented in these games? I mean, running for miles, jumping all over the place, physically fighting people for hours on end, if we're truly worried about being realistic, or can we accept that video games are fantasy? And it's okay to fantasize about being in a fit body. So there you have it, yet another campaign for diversity, equity, and inclusion from a woke corporation that you did not ask for. But they will continue to pat themselves on the back for doing it. Drop your thoughts in the comments down below. Do you want to see more representation in video games? Is it not meant to be some sort of fantasy where we play characters that do not look like us and that are blatantly different from who we are in real life, let me know. And as always, I encourage healthy debate in the comments down below. Plus, like, subscribe, click the notification bell to be notified every single time we post a video for you guys, which is every single day. See you next time.